Hello. Well, welcome to Port Arthur Historic Site. I'm Anita and I'm an archaeologist here at the site. And today I want to tell you about some of the exciting activities we have during our summer holiday period. There's a chance to try your hand at stone masonry, much as the convict workers would have done. There's also a chance to learn about some of the archaeology that's been happening on the site for the last 30 years. So come along this summer holidays and join us here at Port Arthur and learn something about Australia's history. Archaeologists have been working to uncover Port Arthur's history for over 30 years and this year we're staging an exciting new activity to show visitors some of the more interesting aspects that archaeologists have uncovered. This is the penitentiary and the ablutions area of the site and this is where convicts would have washed and where they would have perhaps had it a few hours later at the end of their day. In this new activity, Port Arthur Beneath Your Feet, you'll have a chance to work with some of the artifacts that we've uncovered from the ablutions area, like these pipes here that convicts would have used. You'll have a chance to work with them, to learn about some of the history of the area, and to discover some surprising facts about convicts' lives. Here we are in one of the many beautiful gardens around Port Arthur. For our younger visitors this summer holidays, we have our activity Furby and Feathered Fiends. It's a chance for younger visitors to find some of the animals that are around Port Arthur and learn some of their stories as well. Port Arthur's gardens are looking spectacular this year and they have some fascinating stories to tell. Many of the gardens and a lot of the older trees were planted by convict administrators of the settlement back in the 1840s and 50s and 60s. They talk about stories of homesickness, of a longing for the tastes and the sights of home. Our garden expert this year is leading tours of our gardens. Come with her and you can see the behind the scenes of the gardens, both their history and the stories involved in maintaining them. Port Arthur's church was at the very heart of the settlement and even today it's an incredibly evocative building. But one of the most fascinating aspects about it is the story of the men who actually built it. Now these convicts often came as skilled tradesmen or they actually learnt their skills here at Port Arthur. This summer holidays in our new activity Carved in Stone, you'll have a chance to learn about the stories of these men and also perhaps try your hand at a little stone masonry yourself.